All right, boys, so today I want to talk about a topic that I've seen floating around the Destiny community recently. And I don't necessarily agree with this topic, so that's why I want to talk about it in this video. And I'm talking about power creep. I've seen a lot of people say that we as Guardians are just way too powerful now. They're saying that it's making the top tier, the pinnacle of PvE content just trivial, and I necessarily don't agree with this statement. Now yes, we have definitely gotten more powerful over time, you cannot dispute that. With the Light 3.0 changes, with all the mods we have now, with the changes to resilience, we are definitely way more powerful than ever. But all of these changes that make us feel more powerful are just a result of Bungie's new emphasis on build crafting. Prior to any of this, it really didn't matter if you have the completely min-max build or if you just had some ammo finders on the scavenger and maybe some high recovery. It really didn't matter because the results were the same. But now, after all the changes we had recently, your build really matters and it shows. This past week, I was farming GM Nightfalls and I was on Voidwalker and my whole entire build was focused around weakening. So I was using weakening grenades and Child of the Old Gods. And I was able to pretty much constantly have out a grenade unless I kind of messed up and missed my grenade because I was using Controversial Holds. Now, I had very min-max stats. I had about 100 recovery, like 90-ish, so discipline maybe 80, and about 90 resilience so I get that damage resistance. This wouldn't have been possible if it wasn't for Bungie's new emphasis on build crafting that allows these new builds to thrive in the end game content, which is the whole point of having a build. Before, it really didn't matter. There was like maybe one or two builds that are viable, and I'm talking like Ursa Furiosa Titan, Phoenix Protocol uh, with uh, Well of Radiance. Like that was really it. But now there's so many more builds that are viable in the end game content. It's not just pick your most defensive options, which was Well or Ursa or Bubble. And now we can have offensive options such as Sunbreaker. We have Void Walker. We're gonna be able to have Stormcaller or Striker Titan or uh, Arc Staff. There's, there's gonna be so many more options in the end game content. And that is going to be beautiful to see. And of course, if you wanna use these more offensive builds, it's going to require some thought process it's going to require some build crafting some min maxing of your stats and exotics in order to get them to thrive in the end game because it's not just going to be as simple as slap on an exotic and you're good to go like phoenix protocol ursa's shards of galanor you know you're going to want to think a little bit and make sure your build is good make sure you have your damage resistance figure out a way to get your abilities back and then you're going to be able to use them which is what is making this end game content feel quote unquote trivial and not to mention that a lot of people who are saying that GMs are becoming too trivial have also been playing Destiny since its release. So their communication, their strategies, and their combat experience are at an all-time high. So if you mix that in with all the top tier gear that you have, your good builds, it's going to feel very easy to you. But that doesn't necessarily mean that GMs themselves are easy. Let's say you throw someone in there with an optimized build but they don't have any GM experience it's gonna be pretty tough for them and they're not gonna know what to do, they're not gonna know when to pop supers, and they're not gonna really feel like they have to communicate because they're just so used to just blasting through any other nightfall. So it doesn't necessarily mean that GMs are easy just because you're very, very good at the game. Now who knows what Bungie's gonna do? They typically seem to react and respond to player feedback, and if the player feedback is that GMs are too easy, maybe they introduce a new difficulty option that's harder than GM, maybe i hope they don't do this but maybe they give us all blanket nerfs just to weaken our power level i don't know i really hope they don't do that i really hope they just add a new difficulty option maybe just make it legendary like the legendary campaign that would be really nice but who's who knows maybe they do something or maybe they just don't do anything i don't know but uh, i don't really think that we are just too powerful i think that the top tier pve players are just really good at the game with really good gear and really good strategies so they're able to do this really hard content and make it feel easy and I don't really think that we are just becoming too powerful. I think that we're right where Bungie wants us to be and that it is having good builds in order to make the end game content feel good and feel easy for us. And that's all I have ever wanted for Destiny. As you guys know, I'm a huge build crafter. It's my favorite part about this game. I love trying out new builds, new ideas, and new playstyles. But before, in the end game, your build did not matter because there was only two or three builds that are viable. But now I can go into a GM with my Sunbreaker Titan, or eventually with my Stormcaller, or my Striker Titan. There's going to be so many more options, and I cannot wait for R3.0 and whatever else they have in store for us. So I'm very excited. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'll be reading all of them. Let's have a friendly discussion about what I said. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Deuces!